coming up. It was a big time promise that helped to propel Donald Trump into the White House. But again, the Republicans are worried about that pottery barn rule. You know, the one that says uh, you own it if, in this case, if it's broken. And we're talking about Obamacare next. We know that it's been a disaster. Uh, you know, we had a couple of healthcare CEOs yeah. recently talk about this thing imploding on itself. We all knew that was going to happen. But what kind of what kind of risk are we talking about and what kind of alternatives are we talking about? Well, I think what's interesting, you know, I'm a, a CEO of Replicell Life Sciences based in Vancouver, Canada. We are, have operations in Canada, Germany, Japan. We see a lot of sides of this healthcare debate. And I think what's imp what's what's imp what's obvious to me as a Canadian and as a CEO of a biotech company is it's important to be able to deliver healthcare in a cohesive way to to your citizens as a country and whether that's Obamacare, but, public care, private can care. Can you take a small country like Canada Canada and say, hey, we can do replicate that in America. I think it wouldn't it be a lot. Isn't it a lot more complicated than that? Well, you know, I'm, I'm, I, you know, ab absolutely. I mean, I, you know, I, I love the fact that that as a, as a country, Canada believes in basic health care for its citizens. But whether that's delivered pro publicly or privately, I think the, the most important part of the equation is that, you know, we're in the business of developing next generation um, medicines for people that clearly the American people want to want to support. Both sides of the House supported the 21st Century Cures Act almost unanimously. And yet to do this and to support those kinds of innovations, we need next generation reimbursement.